Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is PJ and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, we are going to see how we can change SharePoint online site URL uh, by using PowerShell or by using Office 365 Admin Center. So imagine this is a scenario where I have created a site uh, name. Uh, I, I provide the URL as marketing test and uh, once i customize everything i want it to be my live site url so maybe sometimes by mistake we do sometimes sometimes we do it intentionally but later if you want to uh, change it then uh, let's say i want to give the url as marketing then uh, previously it was not possible but now things has been changed and in sharepoint online office 365 we can actually change it easily so um there are two ways that we can do one thing is we can do it from the sharepoint online admin center uh, this out of box way where we can do this and then also we can use sharepoint online management shell or the power shell to change it so both the ways i will show you here now uh, before that uh, let me tell you what are the site urls that we can change actually what type of sites that we can change so first of all we can change uh, to sharepoint online modern team sites where office 365 group is connected also we can change uh, uh, sharepoint online modern team sites where office 365 groups are not connected and we can change the communication site url and we can change the classic team sites url so uh, so this kind of uh, uh, this type of sites that we can change the ur now let me open the sharepoint online site and then we will see how we can change it so uh, let me open it so if you okay meanwhile if you want to learn sharepoint as a developer uh, then you can check out the course uh, which i have a sharepoint development training course it is more than 50 hours of uh, training course you can check out on uh, on the link that i'll provide in the comment section Similarly, if you have a site owner or a power user, you want to learn how to manage or your SharePoint site, then you can also check out uh, the course here. I'll put both the links over here, over there in the uh, video comment section. Now, uh, I, I have opened my SharePoint online uh, admin center. So if you have not uh, opened it, so you can just go to admin.sharepoint.com uh, or you can directly put uh, the tenant name hyphen admin.sharepoint.com. It, it will open the SharePoint uh, online admin center. And if you click on this active sites, which is there under the site uh, tab, then you will be able to see all your sites over here. Now, uh, let's say this is the marketing site that we have created before and you just click on that and then if you'll see here there's a URL it is showing and uh, you can see here this is uh, the marketing URL. Now imagine I want to change this URL so I'll click on edit and uh, then it is asking us to provide what the URL that you want to give so I will give TS info marketing and it is showing me the uh, URL is available so uh, and then click on save button down here so once you click on the save uh, button uh, the next screen it will ask you to if you want to really provide a new site name for this if you click on yes then it will uh, uh, ask you to provide uh, the site name as well so what is the new name that you want to give so it will check whether it is available or not and then if it is available then uh, just uh, uh, it will show you and you can change it and uh, click on save so once you click on save um, it will actually take some time immediately you can see here the ts info marketing site name got changed uh, but the url is not yet changed and uh, you can just see the progress here if you click on that actually it will show you um, uh, the uh, the progress so once it will complete it will show that the updated site url is this one so it will take time sometimes it took uh, a little more time and uh, once this, that will be done then uh, you can see uh, the url got changed so you can see here the url got changed now and you can see here now it is ts info marketing and uh, if what will happen to the existing site if you'll see here now this is my marketing site and if i'll just refresh it will actually redirect to ts info marketing site so that means uh, if you have changed the url it will automatically automatically redirect to the new and updated URL. 
so this is how we can change the uh, url from office 365 admin center and uh, now what we will do is we will change this through our powershell so for that make sure that you have uh, updated uh, sharepoint online management shell if you have not the updated that one then you can uh, you'll find the url from the blog post which i'm going to share as well so you can first of all you need to install sharepoint online ma management shell the latest one and uh, once the installation is over then just open sharepoint online management shell so you can see here i'll open in uh, administrator mode so you can see here now it is open so i'll just copy the commands here so if you'll see here first thing is we need to connect to the site so you can see here i have connect to the admin center so click on enter it will ask me the credential so i'll put the username here and then i'll provide the password so once this is done then let's run this command so start spo site rename command so this is uh, this will actually rename the site so we need to provide the new url as well as the uh, existing url so let's change uh, in another uh, site so you will see here there is a site this is a classic sharepoint site you can see and we will see also how we can change it so let's say it is hr classic and we will change it to something else so i will just put the url here hr classic uh, updated something like that i'll put and i will just copy this command and i'll put it here so next click on enter so you can see here it is asking us if you want to confirm so click on yes and uh, then actually it will it will show you you can see here it is saying state is not started uh, but actually behind the scene it is already started so if i'll actually just refresh it here let me just refresh this so you can see here the hr classic is the operation is going on so again it will take some time and uh, once it will it will show us the message so in the update progress you can see the modified url over here so now you can see here uh, the site got changed here so now the updated url is uh, this one hr classic updated and uh, it will redirect also so your classic site also will get redirected so if i'll just click on enter then you will be able to see it will redirect to the new url you can see it here so oh, but we need to uh, remember a couple of things on this uh, first of all the permission will not change so if you if you have changed the url the permission will not change whatever the existing url or existing users who have access to the site they will be able to access uh, the particular site and uh, then if you have shared the sharepoint site uh, then the sharing link will be automatically redirect to the new uh, url apart from that your onedrive sync app will also automatically sync to the new sharepoint site url after the site address got changed but if you have any file in the uh, recycle bin so those things will will be lost you will not be able to get those files and uh, so before renaming the url you can actually change your recycle bin if you if you have any files which is important then you can probably restore it before uh, renaming the url so um if you are using any uh, um, any uh, sharepoint apps or uh, sharepoint hosted apps or provided hosted app then probably you need to republish the apps once you change the site url similarly if you are using uh, microsoft flow or power automate then you need uh, this thing will needs to be recreated after you change the sharepoint site address but if you are using power apps uh, for any kind of customization then you can delete the existing data sources and you can add the new data connections so most of the things will work as expected uh, once you change the data source but if you if you uh, if you if, if the sharepoint site your modern team site or uh, uh, communication site uh, any site if it is associated with a hub site then uh, you need to reassociate with uh, after the site address got changed 
Uh, similarly, if you have uh, published info path forms, and then you need to change it because the URL will not work. So you have to probably go and uh, publish this, this info path forms after changing the URL again. SharePoint workflows, uh, 2013 designer workflows or SharePoint workflows, any workflows you need to republish uh, after this uh, site got changed. Similarly, if you have uh, any kind of SharePoint uh, site customizations, um, and embedded code are there, then you need to go manually change the URLs. Those things will not get changed over here. One final thing I will show here is uh, how we can change the subsite URL. So that is a little, little easier compared to on the site URL. So let's say this is a marketing site. So I'll create a subsite here. So I'll go to the site content and then we can create a subsite here so if you'll see here new subsite and i will give subsite one and we'll take the url so i'm creating a team site with no office 365 group so i'll click on create so once the subsite got created you will be able to see here the url it will be ts info marketing slash subsite one now maybe i will i want to uh, change this url this subsite url so this is little easier so you go to the site settings icon or the gear icon then uh, site information and down you can see here view all site settings click on that and uh, then you will come up with the site settings page and here you can see title description and logo click on that and down you can see here this is the subsite url probably i will say marketing or I'll say Bangalore marketing team, something like that I will give. And if you want, actually, uh, you can also change uh, this title here. So if you want to change the title, you can just put the title here and then click on OK. So once you click on OK, the subset URL will get changed. So I'll now go to home. You can see here the URL change to Bangalore marketing team. So this is how we can change uh, on the SharePoint site URLs, subset URL by using from Office 365 Admin Center as well as using PowerShell or SharePoint Online Management Shell. I will also put the link for the article which I have uh, wrote it and published in SharePointSky.com. So you can follow that, you will get the PowerShell commands, everything. If you like the video, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and this is, this is our social network so you can follow us in LinkedIn, Facebook or in the Twitter and have a nice day.